Hello guys, this is Siddharth Saratka and welcome back to your own channel Explore Electronics. And today we have come up with a new concept video that is e-paper or e-ink and this is how an e-paper looks like. It is termed as e-paper as among all other electronic devices, it has the closest appearance of a paper. If somebody asked me in a single line that what is e-paper, then my answer would be e-paper is a thin flexible polymer sheet with the look of paper but the thing is e-paper is a bit thicker than regular paper and weighs more because it contains microscopic electronic ink particles. It is used for reading purposes like novel, newspaper etc and one of the trending e-paper is Kindle. Before looking into the future of e-ink, let's travel to the past of it. The research part was started few years ago at MIT in the year of 1997 and after research and hard work, the institute was able to build up their e-book that came in the year of 2004 and following year display watch was invented and that was followed by mobile phones and one of the example of e-paper mobile phone is Motorola X3. Your next question must be, wait a sec bro, we can do all these things in a mobile phone also, then why e-paper? So e-paper has two main properties, one of them is bi-stable, which means that the display uses power only to change the content once the image is created, it stays there even when the power is turned off and the second important property of e-paper is reflective like real paper, so it can be read in any light, it uses no backlight as LCDs do not use any emissive light source as used with the CRT monitors. Now coming to the best part of e-paper that how it works. E-ink consists of millions of micromolecules containing of black and white particles. As there are two colors, one have a positive charge while the other is having a negative charge. Whenever a negative electric field is applied across the section, the white particle moves at the top and becomes visible, while the other black particle are pulled down and they are hidden. And this is how we are able to see different images and content. And whenever we talk about the merits, we also have to come across the demerits. It has a low refresh rate as whenever we change the page, it takes time to adjust the image. It is available only in black and white color. Color ink is available but it will cost you 9 times more than the black and white ink. Another big disadvantage is formation of ghost image. Shadow of the image is termed as ghosting of the image, just like this digital wall image as shown in the that's all for today guys thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe and like and for any types of doubts or suggestions please do comment below thank you